Hello, this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. This video is for Paul in Canada. The amplifier here is from 93600SEE. That's a W140 chassis S-Class. Uh, first generation amplifier, Bose amplifier installed in W140s. 91, 92, 93 models. 94 is different. So, I repaired the amplifier, so now we're going to test it. So we have some music to my connected to the tablet here, to the amp directly, and the proven speaker. It's gonna give us sound and some old capacitors that had to be replaced. They go straight to garbage. First thing I wanna do is I wanna test the fader so I can disconnect it and make continue the video for individual channels. So right now, <clears throat> we're gonna set the fader to the rear I believe let's see if this is gonna be rear alright so we turn the dial it doesn't matter I just wanted to show that it does work front to back so we connect this is a rear fill rear speaker door speaker this is front door speaker no sound so fader does work as you can see I switch from one to another there okay no sound from front, sound in the back. So let's change the fader opposite to fill the front, fade the rear. So front, so that's the front, and the rear is silent, as you can see. Front, rear, S barely some sound from the back. See? Now, if we're gonna do fader in the center to have both play, let's go in the middle here. That's going to give us front and back playing together. That's our front. That's our rear. Crossover differently for different speaker size. So as you can see, I believe that's a center fill. This is, these are our channels. Let's see how we're gonna do the center fill. Um, let me try. That's a center fill. And that's center fill. So we got one, two, one door. I mean, this is front. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's do this. Let me just, like I showed you the fader one more time. I'm gonna show the fader, and we're gonna flip this the board so I can do the video much better. Rear, front, nothing. Okay. And then opposite way. Front. Place, place, rear, nothing. Fader in the middle. We're gonna have all four playing. Front, front, rear, rear. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this fader. I mean, it's really annoying to have it here. Um, <clears throat> so now we're gonna flip the amp and I'm gonna show you the individual channels and this is how it looks on the other side some flux from soldering and because this is how I naturally work on these things so it's much better for me okay so center fill over here this is um, this is the back of the amplifier there's some flux over here for old capacitors. These are difficult to get out. So I got them out, rebuilt, put them back together. One channel, one of the woofer was totally dead. Um, chips burnt out and one of the control chip, proprietary Bose chip, you can't find them anywhere. So I just installed another channel that I had laying around. 
so that was the end of it because you cannot find those chips I tried uh, the transistors yes but the control chip that goes with them no so I had one channel for the base and I just rebuilt that one put it in so all capacitors are brand new everything replaced and let's go and let's do test individual channels so first we start that's the center fill that's the um, the speaker by your windshield right by the mirror so this is the the high frequency one as you can hear crossover for high frequency then we have speakers on doors obviously we have full pass on front doors full pass on front doors we have bass and center fill no bass just center fill high frequency rear doors I mean actually small speakers indoors because it's a coupe in four door you will have rear door speakers on these terminals they play more mids than highs or lows like more mid frequencies tuned everything's everything's crossover in the amp so you can't change that fronts rears and bass right now I don't have no bass track once I get bass track I'm gonna connect it to the bass bass only plays bass obviously there is no other and come on already give me some bass okay I'm gonna have to wait for some bass or something I don't know there goes the bass so Here's the bass, hard to hear, but it's there. If you look at the grill, actually. No more bass again. or something I'm not gonna go bass masters that's gonna blow this little thing apart there bass okay good okay so we'll look at the grill come on this is unbelievable every time I find the bass track it just goes away the part of the song with bass rather there is no bass here. Okay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Just happened to get right in the center. There goes some bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. How everything is bad, huh? No bass again. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay. Finally. All right, we'll look at the grill. As you can see, grill is moving. That's a good bass track right here. So, that was just one connecting to another one. And second bass channel. So we have two base channels. One, two, two base channels. Rear doors, front doors, and center fill. So that's what we got. We got basically working amp.
all is working so I showed you the fader fader works everything is in working order the, the amp runs at 14 amp, 14 volts at the moment so that's about what you get in the car it's been running for a while no speaker though but at least it was on and um, all new capacitors in it let me shut it down for a minute okay so all new capacitors these are some old ones from the board I replaced the good thing about this amp is actually that it has it has not been neglected in terms of you did not run it all the way until everything completely damaged boards like I'm talking about acid from capacitors etching out boards so that did not happen uh, although one channel when one of the rear doors went out because capacitor did etch out the board uh, on the base channel that worked the capacitor leaked out a bit and it etched out the mute circuit so it would pop and one channel for the base just completely burnt out um, which is still I mean it sounds very dramatic but it's actually not too bad because uh, other amps that I've seen they were like completely destroyed so we're, these are good except like, like I said I had to put in another spare woofer channel so you get full sound on I mean all four woofers in your rear deck uh, the fuses are good that's another good thing those are slow burn fuses and uh, these capacitors I bent to the side so the case does not hit them no big deal uh, all others as you can see those are new fresh capacitors installed there and if we might see there are also niche cons but I don't know if I can show you in there. Well, maybe not. Uh, what? Can, okay, here I can show you. Okay, there we go. Those those capacitors over there. Now some of them are still Nichicons, but obviously these are better ones than the ones that were installed um, and some of them are Jackson's some of them are Wisdom whatever this this brands are but obviously they will last 20 years for sure all right so this is basically all and um, this amp is going to be wrapped up I'm gonna put the case back on it and ready to be mailed out to a customer okay sorry for this kind of like boring video but this is just a test video so it has to be shown that the amp is going to a customer in perfectly working state all right so this is victor at historymercedes.com thank you for watching